Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the PlayStation Theatre here in Manhattan, New York, ahead of a huge night of boxing this Saturday, live and exclusive on HBO across America and Sky Sports in the UK and also broadcast all over the world. We have a huge fight card at the NASA Coliseum on Saturday night and we can't wait to get underway. It's a pleasure to be here in the US promoting on a great night of boxing with some incredible talent, some of the best in the division, some of the most up and coming young fighters in the division, some local favorites and stars as well. To create any big event and to keep this, the sport of boxing moving, you have to have the right partners. And of course, we thank HBO Boxing and Sky Sports as well. But I want to bring up to the stage firstly to talk uh, Brett Yormack um, from Brooklyn Boxing, just doing an incredible job for the sport of boxing in New York City. And Anthony Cantanzaro as well, who's been the bane of our life for the last few weeks, but works incredibly hard to make sure that boxing continues to thrive in the state and across America as well. It is a joy to work with proactive venues who love and share the passion of boxing with us. So first of all, I'd like to welcome to the dais, Brett Yormack from Brooklyn Boxing. Thank you, Eddie. I'll keep this short. Um, we're very excited about our, our second night of boxing at the Coliseum. We opened the building uh, last April. If you have not been there before, you're going to love it. It's world class. I kind of describe it as a mini Barclays, but great amenities. Um, and uh, looking forward to seeing everyone there Saturday night. Obviously, Saturday night, for me personally, is a special night. Uh, this man to my right, um, not only is he the face of Brooklyn Boxing, um, but he's part of our extended family. Um, so Danny, welcome to Long Island. Welcome to the Coliseum. We're excited to have you there. It's somewhat fitting that the Coliseum should be his second home away from home, Barclays being one. Um, because that's where he's been spending most of his time training. So uh, excited, Danny, that you'll, you'll be with us Saturday night and headlining the card. Um, also, Luis, we, we, we look forward to welcoming you to Long Island. I feel somewhat connected to Luis. My brother uh, is the president of Rock Nation, and obviously Rock Nation is a big part of many of the things we do, not only in Brooklyn, but in Long Island. So looking forward to seeing you on Saturday night. Um, I would be remiss if I did not also welcome another big Brooklynite in Jarrell Baby Miller. Nice to have you with us um, in Long Island. Obviously, you've been a figure at Barclay Center coming to a lot of our events, so we're thrilled to have you with us, and uh, good luck this weekend. Uh, obviously, you've got a pretty sizable opponent in uh, Mariush. So, Mariush, welcome to Long Island and to the Coliseum. We look forward to seeing you. And um, just a quick welcome to some of the other uh, fighters on the card. Um, they've been very active in helping to promote this event and in selling tickets from Cletus Selden to Victor Dimash to Tommy Raynon, who uh, is fighting for the second time. Uh, we look forward to having you at Long Island this weekend as well as Tyrone James. Obviously, Eddie, we thank you for launching um, Matchroom Boxing USA in Long Island, so thank you for letting us be a big part of that. Peter Nelson, uh, HBO, I was told today that the last HBO show um, at the Coliseum was 1980, and it was Jerry Cooney. So it's been a long time since you've been there, so welcome back, okay? Looking forward to seeing everyone on Saturday night. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Brett. Quite right, a stacked card of boxing from start to finish. And our first televised fight on Saturday on HBO is a great fight and it's going to bring you plenty of action. Before we talk about that fight, again, someone that's been instrumental in the launch of Matchroom Boxing USA. And of course, without him and the support of his network, we wouldn't be here on Saturday night. So a huge welcome uh, to say a few words. Peter Nelson from HBO. Thank you, Eddie, and I want to thank all the fighters on this show and their various teams, and their coaches, their trainers, um, their families for bringing us to this great event that we're going to have on Saturday. Uh, I want to thank Eddie, of course, for putting together a terrific show. I want to thank Brett, um, the work you guys do. You're all consummate professionals, and it's a privilege to be back realigned with Brooklyn Boxing. Um, I want to thank 
all the different promoters who are involved in this show. There are a lot of them, including Rock Nation in the main event, Dimitri Salida, Joe DeGuardia. There are a lot of other people from the business world of boxing here. I'm not exactly sure why some of you are even here, but I know I should be thanking you. So thank you. Keep doing what you guys do. It's great. It's great when people are working together. That's where the great fights get made. That's what leads to a better experience, not just for our network, but for the fans. And that's what the fighters want. The fighters want to be able to fight the best, whatever that means, wherever they can do it. We have always prided ourselves of being the home of great champions for over 40 years. And I think what you see on this dais is the next step in terms of the next generation of boxing. And that's part of the great excitement of this show. This begins a run for us towards the end of the year at HBO. Five of the next six Saturdays, we're going to have live boxing. So we have, I think in the words of Shirley Caesar, who said that we have greens, beans, heavyweights, and middleweights, uh, you name it. And we're privileged that it's starting with this show, um, where Dan Jacobs is taking yet another big step in his career against Luis Arias, an undefeated fighter with a lot to prove, as well as a lot to say. Um, if any of you has taken the time to watch, if you haven't yet, please do the feature that we did on Daniel Jacobs and his career. Um, you can find that, Daniel Jacobs, My Fight, on HBO On Demand, on HBO Go, on HBO Now. Um, again, I want to thank all the fighters and their teams. Our start time is 10 p.m., and we look forward to seeing you all there on Saturday night. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. As you said, a huge amount of other promotional companies involved with this show, and, and we thank them so much for their involvement, and we look forward to working with them a lot over the future. Uh, the first of those televised fights, just a wonderful matchup between Claytus, the Hebrew Hammer, Selden, a Long Island favourite. If you haven't seen this guy box, don't miss it, be in your seat. And you'll only need the edge of it on Saturday night, because this guy brings the action non-stop in a great fight against Roberto Ortiz on, on the Golden Boy side. And I was watching Ortiz in the gym yesterday, hitting the pads, looking in great shape. It's going to be a wonderful fight to kick off the night. And uh, firstly, um, I'm going to ask Joe DeGuardier um, to come over and say a few words and introduce his fighter on behalf of Star Boxing. Thank you, Eddie. Welcome to New York. Um, look, it's a pleasure to be here. As Eddie had mentioned, this first fight that's going to open up the show at 10 p.m. at the Nassau Coliseum is really going to be a barn burner. You got two guys that just keep coming forward, coming in, winging punches and both the bangers. Cleta Selden, Roberto Ortiz. Ortiz is 35 and 1. Right? His only loss is to Lucas Matisse, a real warrior type fighter, exciting fighter, and he's fighting against our own Cleta Selden, the Hebrew Hammer. Okay. Cletus has really uh, been making a lot of waves in Long Island. He's been selling out the Paramount every show. And now it's great that we're going to be coming to the Nassau Coliseum. It's been his dream, and it's been our dream to get him on over there and to be on the greatest network of HBO. So really tune in at 10 p.m. Uh, if you're not there at the Coliseum. And by the way, you should be at the Coliseum because it's going to be a tremendous night of boxing. It's a great place to watch the fights and support Long Island boxing and Brooklyn boxing. Uh, in any event, at this point in time, I'll introduce uh, Cletus Selden. As I said, thrilling fighter, right? moniker of the Hebrew Hammer. He's a real throwback to the 1920s when the Jewish fighters really controlled boxing. They were the real warriors. He's got the same style as the 1920s fighters and also, if you take a look at him, he dresses like a Mormon. Right? <laughs> I'm real pleased to introduce him. He's really earned it. He's been fighting some real battles uh, at the Paramount. Undefeated, 20 and 0, and 16 knockouts. Cletus, the Hebrew Hammer, Selden. Wow, I finally have graduated. Oh my God, I've put on so many shows at the Paramount, more than anybody has ever had. And now I'm graduating into the veter uh, Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum on Veterans Day. So you know I'll be wearing my red, white, and blue bandana and supporting all the veterans and all our troops. 
you guys don't know, I am the Long Islander who's been raising hell here on Long Island for the past six years of my career. And I'm trained by Pete Brodsky uh, and his disciples here uh, on Long Island and West Palm Beach, Florida. If you guys in South Beach, Florida need a trainer, this is the best guy in the business, by far the number one trainer I have ever seen. On to um, Star Boxing has 100% have raised me the correct way. They brought me up, nobody wanted me, built me up and made me into the powerhouse that I am now and ready to make my HBA de uh, HBO debut. Uh, all thanks to him and HBO and Peter Nelson. Thank you. You guys are gonna see plenty of me for the next five years. I'm gonna do five years of me and then I'm gonna call it that. So I hope you guys enjoy what you're gonna get on Saturday uh, against Roberto Ortiz, a tough uh, Mexican style, typical Mexican fighter, which is gonna go, in my opinion, I'm gonna wear him down and take him out within five rounds. I've always done it, I've always taken out guys that I said I am, and I am very proud and honored to be part of this entire event. So thank you guys and see you Saturday. 10 p.m. Eastern, baby. Just to let you know, after those five years, you got a job with Matching Box in USA. Yeah. 100%. Characters and personalities is what we need in this sport of boxing, and there's one right there. And boy, can he fight as well. Um, his opponent, uh, uh, like I said, an excellent fighter in 147 pound division, great all action style. And really, these guys looking for a big win on Saturday on HBO to propel them in those big fights in the division. And of course, another great promotional outfit that we're working with Saturday, Golden Boy, and introduced his fighter, Roberto Ortiz. I'm gonna to welcome to the stand now, Robert Gaspari. Hi everybody, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. On behalf of uh, Oscar De La Hoya and Eric Gomez, uh, thank you everybody. Well, what could be said, this is gonna be a hell of a fight. We open up, I wanna thank uh, HBO, Peter Nelson and um, open the, all fights going to be open up the telecast and again this is going to be one hell of a fight. We have the Mexican style coming after each other. Um, we got um, Saladin's undefeated, he's, he's Long Island uh, native so we got a lot going on here. We, um, it's Nassau Coliseum, you got to go out, you got to watch this fight out there. Fight fans, come on out, buy your tickets to the fight. These, both, these, both these fighters know what's on the line. So, you know, well, they know they're on the network, HBO, they're gonna give it all their all. So watch these guys come out, you wanna watch the fireworks, I wanna thank all the promoters, everybody involved. So thanks so much, and let me introduce Roberto Massa Ortiz. Hi, thank you everybody. Uh, I, I'm so happy, happy for here. Um, I know this fight is a, a great for my career, and, and thank you HBO for for giving me a opportunity uh, an opportunity for this fight. I am I am preparing for the work and focus. Uh, thank you so much. <coughs> Perdón, la verdad es que mi inglés es un poco <risa> malo realmente. Bueno, vengo muy, muy preparado. Sé que es una gran pelea. Quiero agradecer a HBO, a Golden Boy Promotion y a todos los organizadores de, de esta gran función. Sé que mi rival es un rival fuerte, invicto, pero vengo bien preparado y listo para una gran guerra. Gracias. Cletus and Roberta. Now the heavyweight division is bubbling right now. A very, very important fight in the division. Obviously a great defense by the number one heavyweight in the world, Anthony Joshua, uh, two weeks ago. He's looking forward to this fight. I spoke to him on Tuesday. He's really interested to see if the hype is real from Big Baby Miller. And he's seen and sparred and shared the ring many rounds with Marius Wack, who is widely regarded as one of the top heavyweights in world boxing. Much bigger name in Europe, but this is a pure 50-50 fight between Gerald Miller and Marius Wack. And we're going to see what's real and what's not real on Saturday night. One of the great characters in the heavyweight division right now, and Gerald Miller, by far the toughest fight of his career right now. Uh, firstly, we're going to welcome to the, the dais to say a few words, a guy who's fought the very, very best in the heavyweight division, 
a giant of a man, come strong with his team this week here to cause a big upset in New York. Welcome, Marius Wack. Na pewno chciałbym na sam porządku podziękować Masu Boxing i Telewizji HBO za możliwość boksowania na tak wielkiej gali. Na pewno... Chciałbym podziękować wszystkim, szczególnie HBO, za mnie na tym fight. Na pewno, na pewno dla mnie to jest duże wyzwanie i, i możliwość w dalszej karierze. Tam otwierają się duże, duże drzwi nad wygraną z, z Millerem. The doors are opening for me right now. This gives me a big chance for the future. Na pewno będzie bardzo brutalny pojedynek. Dużo złej krwi w ringu. Wygra lepszy. This will be a brutal fight. There'll be a lot of blood. I let the best man win. Thank you, Maris. As I said, the division flying right now, and Gerald ba Big Baby Miller has a great chance to go and really cement a position in the division. Um, he looks in incredible shape. I think at the last press conference, he said he was going to take this camp seriously, and um, he's looking more like something out of a GQ magazine here today. <laughs> Look at the smile. That's right. Looking slim and ready. Looking like a superstar. Can he fight like a superstar? We're going to find out on Saturday night. His team have been instrumental in working with us on the ground here, Dimitri Salita, and we couldn't have run this event without him. We're learning here in, in US boxing and in the state of New York, and Salita and his team have done a great job in being with us every step of the way to introduce his fighter, a guy in a very important fight on Saturday night, as I said in the division. I believe the next fight for the winner of Saturday night could be the World Heavyweight Championship, or minimum one after. Welcome to the Dias, please, a big, big part of boxing here in New York. Dimitri Salita. I want to thank HBO, Peter Nelson, Eddie, and Matron. Uh, it's a great honor to be here. I want to thank everybody from Team Miller, <clears throat> Michael, Alvina, as publicist, the training team, Mike, Harry Keith, Sosa. As Eddie said, Jarrell is in tremendous shape, and I believe in the best shape of his life. <clears throat> this morning, I was scrolling through my Facebook news feed and I saw a highlight of Mike Tyson fighting a big, muscular English champion, Frank Bruno, and knocking him out in the fifth round. The, uh, you hear that, Eddie? <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the memories of Mike Tyson are still very deep here in Brooklyn, New York, and there's not been a fighter to follow in his very big footsteps and very big shoes to fill in a very long time. I believe Jarrell Miller is that guy uh, in the last few weeks we kind of had a heavyweight marathon with uh, Anthony Joshua, a big muscular guy from England, making a defense, then Deontay Wilder, uh, and now we leave the best for last, the best heavyweight in the world, and pound for pound, the best talker, Joel Barry Miller. like some of these guys. I'm gonna take my glasses off though. Um, all I can say is this. I haven't ate a cheeseburger in two months. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clap it up. I am going to kick his behind. Um, big shout out to my boy Mike. He's been on my, my team for this first time for this camp at my house every day cooking breakfast and making sure I have no Snickers or Doodles in my gym bag and no cheeseburgers. Uh, my publicist is Alvina, my trainer Harry Sosa, uh, my, one of my big mentors, uh, Chin Chu. It's, it's, it was a phenomenal camp. Um, every camp, you know, has ups and downs and um, it was one of those camps where at we had to push through. It, it, it was rough. And, uh, you know, I uh, definitely dropped some weight. Um, you'll see the number tomorrow. Uh, I feel amazing, I feel awesome, I feel blessed. Thanks uh, Peter Nelson, HBO, Eddie Hearn from Matchroom, my partner, Slita, Slita Promotion, uh, Demetri Slita. Uh, it's been a long road, man. Um, man, I started my career at, uh, at 14, really. You know, I turned pro kickboxing at 18, turned professional boxing at 19, and it has not been easy. You know, I'm not given no silver spoon. I wasn't given the Olympics and all that stuff. I had to earn every 
step, every inch by grit, blood, sweat, and tears. So if anybody tell you this is just luck, there ain't no such thing as luck in my book. From best style of Brooklyn to here, ain't no luck, baby. It's hard working. It's chin down and it's keep throwing punches. So uh, I feel good. Um, I'm ready to go in there and put on the best performance of my life, and I guarantee you, I'm gonna stop walk. Walk gonna get his behind walk. You know what I mean? So uh, what I can, I don't know, I don't know what else is the most to say? You know what I mean? I'm ready to have fun. I know his team is over here. Um, I've been pretty decent and being nice, and you know, just <laughs> shaking hands. Usually I'm pretty more mean, but um, I don't know. He's he's kind of a lovable guy. I can kind of say his face is kind of cute. <laughs> but, um, what can I say? Uh, I want you guys to do is just tune in HBO November 11. Um, it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be fireworks. And um, we love Riddick Bowie, we love Mike Tyson, we love Shannon Briggs. You're sure going to love Big Baby. Let's get it, right? Great chat. Great chat. And like I said, a very, very important fight on Saturday night in the division. A very important fight in the heavyweight division. Now, on to the main event. You talk about fighters coming through for shots at world titles. Here we have, in my opinion, the elite fighter in the 160 pound division in Danny Jacobs against a young lion in Luis Arias who wants to be on that level, who wants to prove himself on that level, who wants to gate crash the party. And, you know, I have to say, when we made this fight, I was very, very confident. I met Luis Arias, I heard him talk, I see him work out, I've been following you on social media. You're ready. You're ready. This is your chance. But you have the real deal in Daniel Jacobs, and I cannot wait for this fight. There's nothing worse as a fan or a promoter to sit down at a fight and just know the outcome or not have any fear or not have any buzz or adrenaline. We have it here because you have a live guy in Luis Arias who is going to come and put every single ounce of his soul on the line on Saturday night to try and dethrone Daniel Jacobs. It's been a pleasure working with Lewis and his team at Rock Nation, and to introduce his fighter, I'd like to welcome to the stage Dino Duba. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, on behalf of Juan Perez, our president and founder of Rock Nation Sports, Michael Yormark, our president of Rock Nation, I want to welcome and thank everyone for the, being involved in this great event. Um, thank you to everyone, Eddie, Peter, all the co-promoters, all the great fighters on this show. It's really going to be a special event. Um, before I introduce Lewis, I just want to talk about the, the show and the venue. Usually I encourage people to watch the fight on HBO. And HBO is proving again to be the best network in boxing. Uh, I'm sure it'll be great sitting on your couch watching it. But for this particular event, I really encourage fans to come out to the venue. It's going to be a special, unique event. You don't get a chance to come to the Nassau Coliseum a lot for boxing. Um, knowing Brett and his team, the wonderful job they're doing with boxing, I'm sure they're hoping to build it up over the long term to do many fights. But you have to come out and support it. And this is really going to be a great event to be at live. If anybody has ever watched any of Eddie Hearn and Matchroom's events in UK, or even further, had the fortunate um, privilege to be at one of his live events, you know it's a good time and it's a special event. And I'm sure he's going to do it up great here at the Nassau Coliseum. So please come out and watch the event in Nassau Coliseum. Um, I guess one question, Eddie, is, you know, if you ever watch any of his events from the UK, they always play Sweet Caroline. <laughs> and, the, you know, the whole fans are waving and enjoying it, really get into a great mood. Uh, I guess the question is, what music are you going to play at this one? We'll keep it a surprise. Come out and you'll find out. It's really going to be a great event, so be there. Um, before I introduce Lewis, I just want to acknowledge his team real quickly. First is advisor and manager, Damian Ramirez. He's around here somewhere. Um, his training team, Gilbert, and his head trainer, John David Jackson, who I really believe is one of the best trainers in the world also. Um, he's a great gentleman, excellent trainer, and he's done a terrific job with Louis Arias, and he really deserves a lot of credit to get Louis where he is right now. Now to Louis. As everybody has found out recently, Louis is one hell of a talker. Um, but you know, sometimes he might say things that 
I don't know, may rub people the wrong way, may offend people, but one thing I know about Lewis is he speaks from his heart. He tells it like it is, how he sees it, how he feels it, and he really, really believes what he says, which is important in a fighter. This is the fight that can make Lewis's life change against Danny Jacobs, who we have great respect for. He's a great champion in and out of the ring, and I really mean that. Um, but this is a life-changing fight for Lewis Arias. And now that he's done all this talking, in two days, he has to do his talking in the ring. And from seeing him yesterday and today, when he got into New York, seeing him at the gym, I really believe he's going to do it. He's physically and mentally like I've never seen him before, and he's ready. And I really believe he's going to back up his words in the ring Saturday night. So once again, I want to bring him up to do a, say a few words from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Louis Cuba Arias. Yeah. Dumb. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, finally, you know, uh, Team Arias, Luis Arias has finally made it to the big stage. And um, I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'd like to thank HBO, Peter Nelson. Um, just to get approved to HBO Championship Boxing at only 18 and 0, it's an accomplishment in itself, and, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Um, thanks to Rock Nation for the opportunity. Thank you to Eddie Hearn. You know, I always wonder how somebody so young could be, you know, running such a big company. I found out you got a little help from your dad, but, you know, uh, you got to give credit where credit is due. And uh, Eddie has taken Matchroom Boxing to the next level. And because of Eddie Hearn, this fight will be watched all over Europe all in the UK, and we're starting to get some global, you know, uh, eyes and, and people watching. So I'm glad for that because the world will get to see me shock Daniel Jacobs. You know what I mean? People are saying, people are saying that, that I'm rubbing people the wrong way, that I may be disrespectful. But how I'm being disrespectful and all I'm saying is facts. Everything that I've said, I backed it up with a fact. fact. I said it a little loud, but it was a fact. Did he or did he not get knocked out? He did. Fact. Has he or has he fact. not been dropped? He has. Multiple people have put him down. You guys are looking at this fight of the names. Take away the names, take away the stories, and s simply look at the facts. He's been hurt, he's been dropped, he's been knocked out. I haven't been hurt, I haven't been dropped. I've been fighting bigger guys my whole career, and I'm ready for this fight. Like I said, I put the work in, I did everything that I needed to do. I'm physically ready, I'm mentally ready, and I'm ready to shock the world. So like I said, November 11th, Daniel Jacobs is in a very tough fight, and he's gonna find that out right away. I'm ready, and I'll see you guys Saturday night. Papá, toda mi gente latina, gracias por todo el apoyo. Los nicaragüenses, los cubanos, los mexicanos, de todos los latinos siempre me han apoyado. Y estoy listo para pelear. Quiero una guerra, quiero pelear fuerte, y este sábado le va a ganar a Daniel Jacobs. So like I said, Danny, I want a war. You say you're gonna knock me out, or I'll be right there in the middle of the ring, so. I'm looking forward to it and see you Saturday night. Don't Thank you, Lewis. Excellent. Thank you for the kind words. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you said, fact, yeah. I, I, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth, okay? But I did turn it gold. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the great thing about boxing is, once they get in the ring, the talking is over. And Luis Arias has done a wonderful job talking what he believes to be the truth, what people want to hear, what people want to see to grow this fight. You've seen in the build-up the story of Daniel Jacobs. What a wonderful job HBO have done. The My Fight documentary was a joy to watch. Everybody needs to know the story, but in 48 hours' time, the story is irrelevant. Two guys in a ring, 24 foot, come together to fight. This is what we love about the sport of boxing. It's the rawest, purest sport in the world ever. And with all the hype, with all the build up, it's gonna get settled on Saturday night. To come to America and to deal and, and sign someone like Danny Jacobs is an absolute honor for us. Not just because he's a great fighter, because he's a great ambassador for the sport of boxing. He's inspirational, he's a role model to the future generation. I want to thank Daniel, I want to thank his team coach, uh, Keith, of course, who's been an instrumental part of making this happen. 
And on Saturday night, we get to see Danny Jacobs, the new Danny Jacobs 2.0, the HBO Danny Jacobs, the Danny Jacobs that should be a superstar, that's about to become a superstar, that wants to regain his status as world champion and go on and become undisputed middleweight champion of the world. But we have a real test on Saturday night. It's an honor to introduce to the Dias, I believe the number one middleweight in world boxing, a great ambassador for the sport of boxing in Brooklyn, New York, and all across the America. You guys should be very, very proud of this man. Please welcome, big round of applause, for the miracle man, Daniel Jacobs. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, appreciate everyone for being here today. Jeez. Uh, I mean, what can I say that hasn't been said already? This guy has been speaking for the both of us. I think he sold his fight alone. Uh, but I do want to thank a couple of people. I want to thank my team, Andre Rozier, Anthony Irons, Chris Algieri, my main man, Keith Connolly, promotion, matchroom, boxing, HBO. This is going to be a stellar fight, you guys. I mean, at the end of the day, it's about two guys coming into the center of the ring and fighting. Talk back and forth outside the ring is good for promo, but you guys are soon gonna find out that there's levels to this game inside the ring come November 11th. Levels. So, uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but I'm from Brownsville and I never ran. I never ran. I never ran and I never will. So this whole, this whole notion of me running and not wanting to fight the fight that he wants me to fight. I mean, because let's face it, he's very limited in the ring. He wants me to stand inside the center of the ring and don't run so he can have what he thinks is a shot to stop me or drop me or hurt me or knock me out. But I'm going to make you work for everything you get. Know that. And then when I'm ready to, to stand in the middle of the ring, if I choose to do that, that's what I'll do. But you're going to know that there's levels to this game. You're going to know that. And just stick that trend, though, man. At the end of the day, I just want to thank all the fans, because ultimately that's what it's about. It's about the fans who pay their hard-earned money to watch and support fighters like us. And we're going to make sure we do our job and do diligence in making sure that we can give a great fight. Because this man is coming to fight, no doubt about it. We got Big Baby Miller coming, broke Brooklyn Knights. It's going to be a great card. I'm looking Thanks. forward to displaying my skills. <laughs> I'm looking forward to displaying my skills on my new home, HBO. And this is a great platform for me. It's no added pressure. Trust me, this is not my first rodeo. Facts! But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's all about what happened Saturday night. So I look forward to seeing you all and everyone. Hopefully, if they can't make it, tune into HBO because it's going to be a special night. It's going to be a real special night. I just want to thank Arius and his team for the res no, I can't say respect. Uh, <laughs> I want for stepping up to the plate uh, because when I got a list of options of opponents, I chose Arius. So I do want to thank him for signing the contract. Facts. Because um, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's going to be a great display of my skills. I get to display everything, everything. And um, man, it's good to see everybody here. It's going to.